All right, welcome to another Dangerous Bob tutorial where I keep it short and sweet. So today we're going to do localization. Uh, originally, I didn't want to do localization in my games because it seemed daunting. Uh, it's actually very simple, and there's no reason not to do it. And it only takes a few minutes. All right, first thing you do, boom, we want to see it. Go to localization dashboard under tools. I'm in Unreal Engine 5. It's our dashboard. Okay, next thing you want to do is uh, basically select the location of what you want uh, to search. Come down here to click uh, gather from packages and uh, include wildcards here. You click um, uh, click the element and uh, basically you're going to select your content folder. What that does is it will then search any text, anything text related in your whole game. Okay, you come down here, you click gather text. We uh, gather text here. This will take some time. It's searching every file in your pro in your content folder, anything text related, any widgets, anything text related. It will gather that into a singular a singular document, which you can then export, um, bulk, translate, re-import, and that's it. Okay. So we're gonna wait here while it gathers text. This will take a few minutes. Come down here at the bottom, okay? Now, I've done this a few times on a couple of the languages. Uh, when you do it the first time, you'll just see uh, default. Um, at the very bottom, you'll see a selection the first time where it just says add new culture. Right there it is, add new culture. Okay, when you click that, you can, you can pick whatever language you want. Okay, I have Spanish here. So you can see I haven't done Spanish yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, these little options on the side, I'm gonna hit export and uh, I'm just gonna stick it on my desktop. Okay, so basically it's gonna export our bulk file and uh, this will have all the text in our whole game. Okay, so we hit okay, minimize. All right, so here's my game file, all right? It's a PO file. I recommend that you, uh, you buy PO edits of third-party apps, great. It's like 30 bucks to get the pro version. Okay, and what that's gonna allow us to do is it's allow us to bulk translate everything. So you can see here, just every word in the game, just a bunch of bunch of words, all right? So uh, this is the, the purchase version. There is a free version, but the free version won't allow you to, to do this in bulk. So um, obviously you're gonna have like hundreds of words in your game, you need to do it all at once. So, um, Hold shift, select, transcribe, boom. This will take a few minutes. All right, so we hit okay, we save it. You can see all the words are transcribed. All right, so then we're gonna go back to Unreal, go down to our culture for Spanish. We're gonna come over here on the side, we're gonna hit import uh, translation, okay? For our culture, game, our, our PO file, we're gonna hit okay. It's going to take a minute, but it's going to pull it in. All right, so we pulled it in. We hit OK. Then you hit Compile, and you'll see it compile. Hit OK, restart. If you hit Edit, you can actually see all the text here if you want to make changes to it. Um, all right, so we just have a couple more steps. Uh, if you go to Project Settings under Packaging, come down to localization here you just want to make sure you select the languages that you're adding so it has like all the different variations we just you know um, just click like the, the the main ones it'll it'll figure it out uh, so so next thing you want to do open up where your fonts are um, so you have your 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 default fonts up here which is what your your like your main font is for your game then it has the fallback fonts okay and what the fallback fonts are is if you can't figure, th this is mainly going to like, per, you know, be an issue if you're translating into um, um, basically Eastern languages like, uh, you know, Russian or Chinese or whatever. So um, um, you can load in the, those uh, fonts under here on fallback. And basically what it does is if it can't find it on the, the, the default, it'll check the fallback okay so that that allows you to have full coverage all right so make sure you do that in your fonts um, you do that okay the languages won't show up in the preview uh, you have to do uh, standalone game for them to show up the changes all right 
Um, and then uh, in your options menu or whatever, when you're when you're ready, when you when you're trying to like change the the different languages, the commands are just it's just set um, it's just set uh, set current culture. Um, that's 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 and, and then you use the abbreviation for each language, right? So in the case English would be en, um, German would be de, for example, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so just throw that into your blueprint <clears throat> in your settings menu or whatever. And uh, that's really all there is to it. And at that point, um, your game um, will be localized. And uh, it, it really is that simple. All right. And, all right. So you can see here, all of my text is in... Um, it's, it's, it's in Spanish. Okay. So that's how you do localization.